Hi guys, I'm Henry from Shaw, and today we're just going to do another quick run through of the Seaskins wired range of wetsuits. So now this is Seaskins top of the tree, the best they can produce winter wetsuits out there. So that comes in a 4.3, a 5.4, a 5.4 hooded and a 6.5 hooded for like the coldest, coldest days. Now Seaskins, for those of you who don't know, are a European family owned wetsuit brand. They're all about making good quality suits that are gonna last and keep you warm. There's no big marketing spend going on. There's no fancy videos, there's none of this. It's all about keeping costs down, putting it into the suits and giving you a suit that's gonna last. They'd much rather you bought a suit from them once every five years than came back every year for the latest this and the latest that. Um, and that's what Seaskins are all about, building high quality suits. And when they do make a change, it really shows and they actually move the wetsuit forward as they have done in this latest wired range. So in terms of the features of this suit, it is, uh, uses Seaskins Halo uh, X neoprene. So let me remember that, Halo X. It runs through the entirety of the suit. You can see it's this sort of mottled material, almost like, um, I don't know the best way to describe it, but, but the way they do it is they remove material from the lining. So the external lining and the internal lining, they're actually taking away material from the outer jersey. The idea being this makes the neoprene more flexible. So you've got your neoprene in the middle, you've got your lighter weight outer jersey, your lighter weight inner jersey, and it just means you can get loads of flexibility. You know, this is a 5.4 and it's so gooey, it's so stretchy out of the material. Obviously other brands do something similar, but this is Seaskin's version of it and it really does look the part, first of all, and I think it also does work in terms of giving you that flexibility on a thicker suit. Externally, this suit, you've got a dark matter section, or dark material, something like that, dark matter material on the chest. This is pretty clever and no one else seems to be doing this, which is pretty amazing to us, but they print on top of the neoprene, the single line panel. So this material here is, um, keeps the wind out, keeps you warm in that core area, and it's really important in those warmest, warmest suits to have this material. Other manufacturers have stitched around the outside and you end up with loads of warranty problems, but actually sort of gluing it on or printing it onto the material uh, gives you grip on your board, first of all, but also does keep that wind out. And again, no one else is doing this. I think it looks really sharp um, and I suspect we'll see it on more suits pretty soon. In terms of the seam technology, this suit uses a fluid seam weld on the outside. Again, you're only seeing this in the top end suits from all the manufacturers these days, but it's a glue material that runs on the outside of the seam. So it's a very flexible, very stretchy glue that moves with the suit uh, and just allows you to keep that water from getting through. On the internal suit, and again, pretty unique to Seaskins, not seeing this from anyone else, they're using a tape but look how thick this tape is. The actual width of the tape is a good almost two centimeters, one and a half centimeters thick. If you look on their rewired suit, it's easily a centimeter and the difference is really noticeable there. So what's the benefit of going thicker? Well, first of all, it's lifetime of the suit. So you're getting a suit that's gonna last longer. And secondly, when they're using this Halo RG8 material, which we'll get onto later, having a thicker, uh, more, I suppose, uh, longer lasting, seam really is going to make a big difference to how much water gets through and how warm you are when you're out out on the sea so if you're looking for that warmth going with this extra thick seam i think it's been a great idea from sea skins doing things a little bit different to everyone else in terms of zip they're all uh chest zip suits so no back zips and they all use sea skins enigma chest zip nice and easy no messing around you pull the zip from the right side locks down with the little tab away you go internally it has an iris system they call it Again, little things, but do make a difference when you're buying a suit of this price. You can see here the iris system. The idea is it's like an iris of a camera. It's getting as tight as it can be round your neck to stop any water that does get up here, touching your skin and chilling you down. So yeah, really nice to see that. And I think, again, more suppliers should probably start doing that because it does make a big difference when you wear the suit. On the external of the suit as well, you've got the cuffs, lockdown cuffs. Some other manufacturers do bits and bobs, but these, are really fantastic because you can see there the actual hole where your hand goes through is sort of tightened up. The idea that you should get no flushing through this through this entrance. Um, other suits like the, the Rewired, they just chop it straight off and you sort of have um, more surface area for the water to get in. But as, as you can see, when they curve it round to be a smaller shape, there's less surface area. So therefore less water should be able to whoosh up there uh, and get you cold really, I suppose, is the idea behind that. 
Final thing on the outside of the suit is de-embossed de knee pads. So this is at the lower half of the suit. You can see they've almost impregnated or pushed in the neoprene to give you a more flexible back of the knee. I think what happens is when you take that neoprene right the way down to the bottom of the leg, you could end up with just too much material behind your knee. Again, you only know this if you're actually surfing these suits, if you're actually testing these suits. So Seaskins have done the work and figured this does make a difference. So having that de-embossed knee pad there just means that you don't get that bouncing. Your legs actually can um, sort of stretch down together and you can flex your legs a little bit more. Sort of makes sense, as I said, if you have super thick neoprene all the way down, your legs are just gonna sort of spring straight all the time. So doing that stops your legs um, going so straight and gives you a bit more flexibility through that. Now, the internals of the suit. So the suit has Sea Skin's Halo RG8 uh, thermal lining, which is this black material. You can see it runs from the chest all the way down to the top of the knees, uh, and it is feels like a warm, fleecy blanket. It's pretty mad. Uh, idea is that water drains through it quicker, um, drips away from your body, keeps you warmer, and it radiates the heat back at you. Um, a lot of manufacturers are all using different uh, techniques to do this, but I think the Seaskins one, a, looks really sharp, and when you feel it, honestly, it's like a fluffy blanket. Um, and having that different levels of pile allow the water to drain behind the soft top material and keep you warm, get that water away from your body and keep you nice and toasty. Now, the hooded versions all come with the Halo RG8 inside the hood as well, but they have a single lined hood. Again, thinking out loud, but if you're going in in the coldest conditions, you want the best possible hood. So having a built-in hood like this, which is a single line material, so shiny material, uh, a bit like we we're talking about on the chest, really does keep your head nice and warm and stops that heat loss. And if your head's above the water and the wind's really blowing, that single line material keeps you nice and toasty. And it's great to see that they've done that across their, all their hooded Ranger suits. So that's the Seaskins wired range. As I said, top end of the suit, this is the best Seaskins to make. It's gonna last the, the longest they can make a suit last. Uh, and really it's like they're throwing the kitchen sink at it, but only on things that are actually gonna make a difference. Um, if you need help with sizing, you can jump on our website. We have a full size guide for suits, this suit. Um, and we have a video explaining what a good fitting suit looks like and what a bag fitting suit looks like. So make sure you watch that um, to get an idea of how the suit should feel when you get it. Alternatively, you can come down to our store. We have a physical shop uh, about an hour and a half from London with all of these wetsuits in, with experts in store who can guide you, get you fitted up correctly and make sure you get the right suit to go home with. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, you know, there's a lot of money on suits, a lot of technicality, technical parts of this. Do drop us an email, do drop us a comment on YouTube. Um, we're here to help. But yeah, so that's the Seaskins Wired range of wetsuits available here now, sure.